What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have something that I do not like, but I unfortunately had to purchase. It's a Genius Audio Amp. Um, first of all, if you love Genius, this video is not for you because I'm gonna be basically shitting on them for the approximately next five minutes. Um, now, Genius speakers, decent. Genius subs, decent. I don't see why you would take a Genius sub, Genius Audio subwoofer over a Scar Audio subwoofer. Um, literally besides preference because the scar ones are about the same price and i honestly think the scars are better um and then the 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 some of the speakers are fine like especially once you get to like the cheaper shit they have a lot of inexpensive stuff um genius is very cheap but um this amp is their amplifiers are just not it and once you get to their like higher grade speakers it's like why the fuck would you want to buy that like there's some speakers on there that are I know are like eighty dollars each, and it's like, why would you take that over a Def Bonds? Like I just I just don't get it. You're not gonna get the same sound. They feel and they look cheap, but again, this is my personal opinion. Um, the reason I am reviewing this amp is because I have a customer who blew his amp. Um, now before you guys start hating on the comment section, all you genius audio lovers, it's like, oh, maybe he tuned it wrong, blah blah blah. He got it installed by Genius Audio certified reseller who only has installed genius audio his whole build is genius audio and he also tuned it he is an audio installer and he tuned it fine the amp blew um the reason i know the amp blew the moment you turn on the truck this amp would go into protect mode once it would get protect mode it would flash protect on protect on and it almost sounded the subs sounded like they almost had a test tone it was very weird um switched in a kicker sub a kicker amplifier for like the meantime worked fine amplifier was the issue all the wiring was fine also um and he blew this amp up so this amp was no work and then i had to replace two of his genius speakers and i had to replace one of his subs one of the genius vulcan subs also blew um it's like come on like after a year i've been destroying my sundown sub for over a year and it's been fine um i don't know my i play stuff for hours at times and you know what it is what it is but i had to replace this for him and starting off straight off the box once you get to higher quality like actual quality is it audio the boxes don't look this gaudy like come on like this it looks like i got this off of alibaba like, come on, do I really need premium quality everywhere? I don't even know what the fuck that is. It just, it's like a bunch of crap. Um, for you guys who are wondering about the power outputs, because obviously they put 3,000 max everywhere. 3,000 max right here, but the amp is a 1500.1. It is at 14.42 mono. It's 850 watts at 2 ohms. Wow. Wow, that's fucking disappointing. 3,000 watt max for 800 and what? I'm going to give it the whole number. Right there, you guys can see 850 watts. So, she's a little off. <laughs> um, Yeah, so okay. And then first of all, this thing's heavy as hell, even though it's a class D amp. Uh, it says compact. I don't know how the fuck this means compact. This thing's This thing is... The box alone is 21 inches. Let's get into it. So, now, as to how it sounded before it blew up, it sounded decent. It sounded like an 800 watt amp. You're met by warranty. Good to know. The other guy, he didn't have that card or something. I don't know. He told me just to order a new one bunch of manuals printed on regular just paper you know it's whatever again 1500.1 yeah one ohms this really does 800 watts so in the subwoofer that blew or 500 watts rms from genius so a thousand watts rms you're they he was still underpowering them by 2000 watts and it still blew yeah now this compact quote unquote amplifier 16 inches like for 800 watts come on 
I personally run a Sundown S SIA 2500, which people sometimes talk shit on. It's just like you, you just have to run proper wires to them. And my amp is probably like half the size. It's like seven and a quarter and does 2,500 watts RMS. Yeah, it's more than double. So we have the bass remote. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at this. Look at this bass remote. I wish you guys could feel how light this is. This is like, let's see if you guys can hear it. This is the most flimsy plastic class D level. Oh, yes. Right there. Class D level. This feels so cheap. Look, comparison. Still, this, is, this is a hollow sundown. This is hollow. And it's aluminum and weighs more than this whole thing with the actual brains in it. I also have a SCAR audio. A SCAR at least gave you the... There's no light on the SCAR. But at least they give you the decency to actually have a metal case. Like, come on, genius. Like, This amp is $200, by the way. It comes out to like $210. Not a cheap amp. Um, it's relatively cheap compared to like quality, actual quality products. But like, for $200, come on. Let's get this out the packaging. So right off the bat, this amp is heavy as shit. Um, oh mama, yeah, look at that. 16 inches right on there, yeah. So let's take this out. Now if you guys are diehard Genius fans and are pretty pissed right now and wanna like put a bunch of racial slurs in the comment section, Please do. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think is good of Genius, and I'll make sure to review it, because this is my personal opinion, but my opinion based on facts. And um, I not a, I haven't been doing car audio for 20 years, but I'm a mechanical engineering student, so I can tell when some stuff is fucking weird. But, and I've been doing audio for about five years, but automatically, so for just... These are for display purposes, these little plastic pieces. You're supposed to, let me get my small screwdriver. You're supposed to unscrew this shit from right here. Um, yeah, like, oh yeah, the amp isn't big enough. Let's fucking add this massive plastic piece. So right there we got the fucking smallest four gauge inputs that the, the Hiphonics amp that I reviewed in my other video had the same size terminals as this and that's fucking sad. But it has like 14 gauge wire, maybe, no, that's 14 gauge, you can maybe get 12 in there. 4 gauge inputs, and yeah, all your power detect, all your base boost ups on it. So, yeah, this thing's heavy. Um, I wish I had to scale out, but it's just a heavy ass amp, and it's so large for no, this is 800 watts RMS at 2 ohms. Like, dude, what, the, I don't know, I'm just pissing me off, <laughs> for $200, like, now you'd be like, okay, then what would you get instead, anything, go get a down for sound amp, um, go get a sundown amp, go get a Hiphonics amp, even a Hiphonics, I'd take a Hiphonics over this, for the sheer size, Scar Audio, those are decent amps, um, Rockford Fosgate, I honestly and confidently believe a Rockford Fosgate 500.1 will sound, sounds like this one. Argue me if you will, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you really guys honestly love Genius Audio and have some redeeming factors about it, please put them down in the comment section. Um, I'd love to hear them. I'm not closed-minded. I'd like to honestly like these products because these are popping. Like, so many people come to me and say, like, oh, I want Genius, bro. And it's like, why do you want Genius? Oh, because I just seen it like in a bunch of trucks. I'm like, well, yeah, when your horn drivers are $15.97 and your horn tweeters are like, those are like 15 bucks, and then you can get the door speakers for $25 to 50 It's like, yeah. And there's so many better options for speakers. These down for sound speakers over here are $35, and I'd take these any, any day over the Genius ones, but... And I've ran Genius in my truck to like see what the hype was about. The only decent speakers I've been able to come across from Gen from Genius Audio are the the Genius Neo that are like squarish, and 
only reason I think those are decent is because they're a clear ripoff off of B and C six and a half. So if you don't know what B and C is, then you probably don't know too much about car audio, and that's why you think your genius audio is wet. But um, B and C speakers cost like double, and it's you put them next to each other, and it literally sees, looks like the great value version. But it sounds decent, so I'll give it that one to Genius. And the Neo Bullet speaker also is not that bad. Um, it's decent. The ones that are ass that I know is are the slim ones and a lot of their other stuff. The tweeters are, look so bad. But again, if you guys love Genius, please let me know in the comment section and tell me what you guys find redeeming about it. And I'll probably review another product. But as for March, I wouldn't recommend this amp um, unless you're getting a really good deal on it. But yeah, you guys saw what I have to say. Feel free to ask me questions.